Hi folks, thank you for checking out my video and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a walkthrough on how I fix my oven that is not heating up. As you can see here, I have a Samsung oven range. We had this for a number of years, no problem at all. And we love it, it cooks great. But lately we've been having problem with the oven not heating up. When we try to bake, put onto the bake mode here, it'll only stay at 150 and the oven will not heat up. So I did some research on this and the cost is that the igniter for baking is not working. So I'm going to remove the igniter and replace it with a new one. Let me uh, clear this out here. Well, this is a top priority project for me because my wife bakes a lot. Really delicious bakery like apple pies, sweet potato pies, pumpkin pies. So we have not been having pies lately because this thing is not working. This oven has two burners. We have the top burners here. That one is functioning really well. It is the bottom burner for baking that is not working. So I did order the igniter and it came today. So the first step would be take out the racks here. Take them both out. As I mentioned earlier, this oven range came with two burners. One burner is underneath this cover here. And then the other burner is on top there. It's for the top grilling. I ordered two igniters, but today I'm going to only replace the bottom piece. The top one is still working. I anticipate that maybe in a, a year or so it will go out as well. And this one went out first because my wife does a lot of baking. So basically there are two screws here. You remove them using a screwdriver. Pretty easy to do. All right, so make sure you put these someplace where you can find them. So the heat shield here has two slots that you can easily put your hand in there and kind of lift it up like so. And there are two latches on this side. So that's why you need to lift it up and then remove that as you can see here. See the latches here. One latch and two latches here. All right, remove that out of the way. Once you remove the top part, there are also a uh, metal shield here. So this particular shield here also has two screws, one and two. What you do, comes off, boom. Easily comes off. Once you remove the screws, you simply lift this up here. Again, there are two latches here and there. Just take them out. So now you see the burner here and the igniter is here. So the burner is held by one screw here as well as there's another screw here on top, right? And so you have to take the burner out in order to detach the igniter from the burner. You notice there are two wires here providing electricity to the igniter. You have to remove the wires from the, uh, the plug underneath. So what you need to do first is to go underneath and unplug the, uh, the wires. All right, just a quick reminder. So before you unplug the wires, uh, just make sure that the oven is off, off completely. Let's just get this baby out of the way here and from underneath, simply lift it up like so. Boom. All right, let's see what we got in here. So as you can see there, there's a plug there, right? So you just have to unplug it. So this is the hardest part here is because of the small space. So I noticed the wires here are pretty strapped to here, right? So I think it's strong enough for me to just squeeze the top part here and then just pull it out without breaking the wire. Kind of, there you go. And kind of use this to push. Use your finger to push this out while you squeeze in the, uh, the top part, okay? So now this is off and I can remove the burner here. As you can see the burner, this is the uh, end of the burner here. You just remove the two screws on top and then just lift it up word so that you can remove the uh, igniter okay here's one of the screws to the burner 
put it where you can find it. Make sure you don't lose it. You know, I want to make sure I touch it my fingers like that, right? See if I can simply just lift this off here. And voila, we have the piece here. Let's see what it looks like. So here is the igniter. As you can see, the two screws are here that you can take out once the burner is removed. And screw this here. There we go, pretty simple. This comes off here. The screws comes off. You can see that. Yeah. Boom. There we go. And it comes off like that, right? There's two holes here and it connects to the burner like so. So this is what the burner, the igniter looks like. When you turn on the oven, you get the electricity through the wires here and it heats up this portion here. Heats up high enough, the gas comes on. That's when you get the ignition of the flame for the burner. All right, so here's my, my new replacement piece here. Let me see what it looks like. I'm going to open it up. Like I mentioned earlier, I actually purchased two of these uh, items because eventually the top igniter will go out too. But uh, the bottom one get used more because my wife bakes a lot. So that's why it went out first. So here's what it looks like. Ah, I just get open like this. And I'll uh, include the link in the uh, video description. Identical, exactly. Right, you got the two piece here, and then the, the wires. So it also comes with the plug as well. And just in case the original doesn't have a plug, they also provided two pigtails to connect the, uh, the wires. So here I'm having it side by side. As you can see, the two wires coming from the igniter are white so i'm not sure if one of them is used as a live wire and the other is used as a common wire so just in case polarity matters here i'm going to wire the new igniter the same as the original igniter uh, take a look at here this one is flat and the the back is kind of curved right so the same thing with here so this is how you can make sure that you plug in the right wires Okay, flat curve in the back, like so. Okay, cool. So that's that. Let's put it back in. So uh, I have it rested like that at this point. And then I'm going to get underneath all right, so as you can see there, the burner is just resting on here, right? And because I can't see from the top, so now you just have to do that. Pull it in there, like so. So remember I told you earlier to look at the polarity, you see the, you have the flat side there, and then you have the curved side on the back. So the flat side is going to match the flat side. It's to align. It's easier than pull it out because now you can use your fingers like so and just snap them in together. Right? Now you go back to the top and then screw in the uh, burner. So now we screw the burner back in. Before I put the panels back on, I want to turn it on first to see if it works. We're going to do bake. 350, I'm going to do start, right, it's 150 right now, there we go, nice, so we open this up, beautiful, as you can see there, it's working, 
itu so this is done I'm going to close it now that the panels are back on I'm gonna turn it on again and and then press start it's gonna take a while for the uh, igniter to uh, catch on once it heats up we should see the uh, the temperature move upward all right let's see yeah you can see the glow there 155 so it went up 160 there we go it's working all right so now that the oven is fixed my wife is making us apple pie look at that it's going to turn into a pie pretty soon so there we go I can't wait the oven is nice and warm there boom all right guys Oh, look at that pie. It is done. Ooh. Oh man, these look so good. I can't wait. Alright folks, so as my reward for fixing the oven, I got to eat again my wife's delicious apple pie, as you can see here. Mm. so good with that thank you for watching my video i hope it was helpful and i hope to see you again soon thank you